sing it. We will, we will rock you. Wow, we will. <laughs> <laughs> With some game time. That's right. She's live. Emily's live in De Pere at De Pere High School. Hi, Em. Good morning, Rachel and Pete. Hi, everybody. Game time is here. Right now, we are at De Pere High School, where the boys and girls basketball teams are both number one seeds. It's pretty much safe to say they're dominating the basketball courts. I have both head coaches out here with me. Brian Winchester is the boys' head coach. We have Kelly McNiff, the girls' head coach. Let's start with Brian, because last night, there was a pretty intense game here against Kimberly. You were down by seven points going into the half. Tell us about last night, Brian. Yeah, we probably didn't want to be in the position that we were at halftime, but the kids did a great job of finding a way to get things done in the second half. Uh, Kimberly, I thought, did a great job. They executed their game plan very well, slowed the possession, or slowed the tempo of the game down, uh, really minimized possessions. We had to work and try and get some stops on the, at the defensive end in the second half. Uh, we had some kids make plays. Jordan, Jordan Poy just made a big steal. Adam Beyer made some plays. Uh, Brett Vandenberg made plays, and, and our, our kids just did a great job uh, pulling together in the end. How do you motivate them to, to keep going and, and um, you know when you're down by by seven points going to the half, how do you make them keep going? Well, they know that what's what's on the line in the tournament. You know, if you lose, your your season's over with, and, and I think that's enough motivation in itself. In the locker room at halftime, all we talked about was the the simple things that we needed to do: keep attacking the rim uh, in, in the second half, and defense, just trying to get grind out some stops and get some things done. So, uh, motivation was pretty much there for for themselves. Brian, with a W last night, where's the team headed to now? Uh, we play Sheboygan North on Thursday over at Schwabenon High School, and we've seen Sheboygan. In North twice this year already, uh, an outstanding team and, and very well coached, and uh, should be a great game over at Schwaben on Thursday. Well, let's go over to Kelly right now because the girls' team is also dominating too. You haven't lost since December. Tell us about uh, the way your team has been achieving those W's. Um, it's a lot of teamwork. We're very balanced. Uh, kids come to practice, work hard, um, execute game plans when it's on when it's game day, and. Uh, you know, we set some goals at the beginning of the season, and we want to kind of knock them off one by one. And now that we're in postseason, um, it's the next goal is trying to get to Madison. How does it feel for you to have both the boys and girls basketball team out here at De Pere to be dominating like this? Uh, it's exciting. I think it's great for the school, the community. Um, I think we can feed off each other's success and uh, kind of push each other and hope that we keep playing. Kelly and Brian, you have been busy coaches. We appreciate your time this morning. And don't go anywhere because we have the players that are going to be with us along with the pet band. We're going to have a rocking morning this morning. We'll send it back to you. It's an Absolutely. exciting time. Thanks, Sam.